That looks better. Welcome to the Tata Tour number three. So, what are we going to talk about? I have some new tattoos. Yes, I do. Uh, a lot of people have been asking because this design that I have uh, right here on my arm and on my shoulder and now also my leg, which I'm going to show you in the pictures later. Um, yeah, a lot of people have been asking for it. A lot of people love the design itself that I have put down here and a lot of people wanted to know what I have, um, yeah, th what I had in mind when I was creating it. Uh, it's actually not that hard to explain, like it's not um, a, a super long story for it, but I would say we jump right in. First of all, we have the changes. Changes as a powerful word, for me at least. Um, changes because my whole life has changed so many times and um, yeah, I would have never thought that I would be where I am right now, uh, that I would end, not really end up, but go this way, I would say, this direction of, uh, yeah, life development. I would have never thought about it. First of all, it was like, um, yeah, I mean, I have told you about my, my childhood kind of, my changes. I went from like an introverted, bullied, freaking child to having some troubles when it comes down to family and friends and all that to my full-time job, which changed me a lot, into depression, uh, which was hard, and I would never want to go back, and now I'm here. Uh, I kind of made up my life. I mean, I'm 23 now, and I could say I, I've grown up. I've grown up and changed myself, developed myself, and yeah, with the social media, that's like the biggest change so far. I would have never thought that I would someday sit here and explain like my tattoos for you or just like design stuff to inspire people. So the word changes is just something, yeah, for me it's, it's my life changes. It's a really powerful word in my mind, so uh, yeah, that's what it is, right? That easy. Nothing too special, for me it's special, but for you it's just a word. Secondly, we have the birth dates, yes. That's birth dates. That is not a code. That is not a, I don't know, coordinates. That is birth dates. From upside to the downside, full birth dates. Easy. For which, on family members, it's for my niece, it's for my stepbrother, it's for my mom and for my dad. Uh, because those have the most impact in my life. Like these are pretty important to me and uh, because it took me a while to learn to appreciate and love my family and be thankful for it, which, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm thankful now for it. I, I never was really, but since I have tried to cope with some things out of the past, um, now I am. Now I'm really thankful for it. Working my way up. I am. A lot of people won't see this. Uh, it's super small. This just says I am with a dot. It's connected to it, to the whole design. So all these lines and dots are more of a design feature to put it all together and link it nicely. I also put those on my leg. Uh, which I'm going to show you later, um, but yeah, this is, uh, yeah, the I am. Let's talk about the I am. Uh, I have had lots of struggles uh, learning to love myself for being who I am. Um, I was, when I was in my down phase, I was really hating on myself. I, I looked in, at the mirror and I was like, yo, you look like shit, you're a piece of shit, you are skinny, you are fat, you are chubby, you have ugly nipples, whatever. It was all the stuff that could have, that you could have imagined. Um, I really hated myself and now uh, with the tattoos and the body and also of course the looks, I mean, I'm happy with myself. I don't know, like I would never get a, a nose job done or whatever. Uh, it is what it is, right? I, I, I just like myself, I am um, pretty much, uh, yeah. That's the I am. It's also really important to me. Like, uh, like I said, it's these are just like some, like all this stuff that I have on this arm and the words and the kind of style that I have chosen pretty much just describes me and my story that I have been through. And for me, that's just really important. Like a lot of people are out there and just say like, yo, why the fuck do you put words on yourself? But just read a book or something. Yeah, but these are important words for me. These are just important words for me. Like, I don't care if someone else would get it. I would never get some travels or something. But yeah, it's just my story. Followed up by the rose. The rose just means 
the beauty of nature. Like um, I, I just wanted to put a rose down in a simple, super simple sketch style um, for the beauty of nature. Like appreciating it. Um, I know I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to extend too much with that story here. But being vegan, taking care of yeah, just like of the nature, of trying to leave my ecological footprint. A uh, yeah, just in. It sounds kind of weird, but that's the story behind it. I know some people will, will just be like, yo, what the frick is he talking about? But that's pretty much it. Then also really powerful, uh, open-minded. Open-minded, connected to the shoulder tattoo with the meditation and the brain and the heart, also the moon phases. Um, and overall these, this powerful design. The open-minded, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna talk about the full story. To see an opportunity, you must be open to all thoughts with the open-minded connected to the shoulder tattoo. That's more of a whole connection thing. Um, I'm gonna incorporate it with a few more lines as well in the future, but um, that's really powerful to me and important in the ways of how I have learned to set up my mindset, to work on myself, to work up the past, what happened, um, meditating, uh, having an open mind for a good mindset. Um, it's it's kind of hard to explain what goes on in my head when I'm thinking about those, but as it says, as the quote says, having an open mind really puts up all the the opportunities in your life. Like if you wouldn't, be, if you would just be closely tunneled, tunnel vision, going into your future, not being open to like some options you have or you might take and some risk you have to take, that would pretty much give away a lot of stuff and um, opportunities that was the same with social media kind of when i had a lot of, lots when i had lots of negativity uh coming from some colleagues or from some from yeah just like from overall saying yo why the fuck you do that you that's totally silly that's stupid that's just cringe whatever um of course i just had to find my way as well um, my direction where i would go to with social media so i was trying out a lot of stuff um, but if I wouldn't have been open-minded enough to say, yo, this is an opportunity for me and I wouldn't be taking it, then it would be just hard. And I maybe would lose the opportunity for my lifetime. Um, <clears throat> as well as the meditation and the hard brain um, kind of thing. Uh, it's, it's always a trouble fighting through if I decide by my brain or by heart, right? If I put down decisions, if I go for decisions by heart or by brain, um, I really have to be careful, but sometimes you just have to choose uh, no matter what. Um, so the open mind is just, yeah, I guess that's my explanation for it. It's like I said, I can't really find words to describe what I have in mind with that, but I, I think you get my point here. The meditation and the monk, meditating that's really a thing that i just found for myself meditation brings me a lot of peace and just puts down all the stress that i have on my, on my soul on my body on my mind um if i wouldn't have been meditating I, that's sort of a self-therapy thing and just like um yeah in helping myself i have had so many thoughts going on when i was meditating of course i had to learn it at first i have been reading lots of books about it i'm currently also reading a book again because that's such an interesting topic for me. Um, so that's really important. And yeah, that's it for the arm. Uh, like, like I said, it's not uh, too big. That's just the stories behind it. Followed up by the leg. The leg is also new. We have some new stuff going on on the leg. So first of all, we have a um, quote again with a word like balance your soul and mind, which is just a simple reminder that you should keep your soul and mind balanced. Um, I have had lots of imbalances for that. Um, and I have found that through meditation. That's why it's also connected to up here again. Um, you will find that on whole body in the future uh, with all the quotes. It's all linked together so in sort of ways, as well as the same meanings, kind of, just in different ways. Um, yeah. Then we have a palm tree, sort of classic. But um, yeah, it's, it's just important for me. I love nature, like I said before. Um, I want to travel more in the future. It's just. I love nature in the ways of mountains and also palm trees and beaches. That's like two things that go totally different ways, but uh, depends on my mood sort of. Like mountains is more of a just freedom standing on top of the mountain. The beach vibes is just, it's just whole, two whole different vibes here. Then we have the hand holding the branch. For this explanation, 
it's also kind of hard to find words, but it's kind of in the ways of like the branch is just a branch, right? There's no blossoms, there's no other things going on. Um, and if you hold it up, knowing this piece of, this is just a piece of wood with some leaves, but maybe in the future it can grow bigger to a tree or just like some beautiful flowers. Then we have three more connected to each other. Uh, we have the courage. Courage and the followed up quote. And it also says fear is reaction and courage is decision. Um, so it took me a lot of courage uh, to, to find ways to communicate uh, my stories and to work on themselves and be, yeah, just like ready for it and be aware of how I'm feeling and what goes on in my mind, like uh, what happened to me in the future, uh, not in the future, in the past, what happened to me in the past and that this is just my, my story, right? And uh, having fear would just be a, like fear is always just a reaction. You, you will react with fear to certain occasions. And um, yeah, if you choose courage over that, that is, a, that is a decision. If you go for the harder route, if you choose some opportunities to go the harder way, to go whatever direction you wanna go for which also leads sort of into the diagram, which is next to it, which is a life by time diagram, um, which slowly leads to success. I know some people may be like, yo, this is plain stupid that you put something like that on your freaking leg. But I always tell myself, even though it's ups and downs all the time, it's always ups and downs. The same with, with like social media followers and likes and whatever, even though this is not at all the most important thing for it but it's always about ups and downs. That's the same with the stock market. It's always about ups and downs, but if you don't lose your mind over time and you still live through it, you put your time in it, then in the end, you will be successful. At the end is always success. That's what I'm trying to tell myself. That's, that's, that's a really important thing for my mindset to keep going, to keep pushing further, to, to go for my fitness goals, to go for my work goals, my whatever other goals. Um, that's why I have put it down there. And wow, that was about it. <laughs> that's the both tattoos. That's my arm sleeve and that's my leg sleeve. Not a sleeve yet, but it's gonna be there. Um, wait, have I talked about, oh, I forgot. I forgot about the uh, book quote, right? Life is like a book. Don't let it be written by someone else. Yes, we have that on my upper thigh. That's also important because I, I got that on the same day when I got my changes and I have not put that in a video. Simple but powerful quote again. Really important for me, um, don't let other people tell you what to do. It's your life, you do you, your decisions are your decisions. You make them because you want to or you have to, depends on the decision obviously, but um, you get my point here, right? You should not be dependent on other people's opinions. That's the last statement I would say. <laughs> That was not the end though for all of my tattoos. Like there's gonna be way more tattoo tours, I guess, on here because I have lots of ideas. Sadly, I didn't have uh, time for my collarbone tattoo, which would have been the next one, but that's about it. That's it, nothing more. Hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subbed to my channel, make sure to leave a sub, would really appreciate it. Also, if you would check my Instagram and TikTok if you haven't done that yet, or my Twitch, depends on what you wanna see. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next time. Oh, yeah. I'm just a regular